Well, kids across our area are headed back to school today, which means more school buses will be hitting the roads and drivers need to be extra vigilant. And remember, there are rules that should be followed when a school bus stops. WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg looks into those rules and verifies this morning. We have to always be on alert. For seven years, Marquise McCullen has been on alert, making sure kids get on and off the bus safely. I have seen instances where the my arm was out. You know, luckily I blew the horn for the child to, hey, let's not move, Don't, mm -hmm. just stay right there. And a car just zoomed right on past. He's not the only bus driver who's had close calls. So we are getting the facts on when you actually do need to stop. Our source is Marquise McClellan, a CMS bus driver, and the North Carolina Department of Public Safety. The North Carolina Department of Public Safety breaks down the rules of the road when it comes to stopping for a school bus. When the bus is stopped with the stop sign out on a two-lane road, all traffic both directions must stop. A two-lane with a center turning lane, all traffic from both directions must stop. A four-lane roadway, all traffic from both directions must stop. And a four-lane with a median, only traffic following the bus must stop. Four or more lanes with a center turning lane, only traffic following the bus must stop. Now, students should also be vigilant and wait for the bus driver's hand signals alerting them it's safe to cross the road. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. If you have something you would like verified, just email us at verify at wcnc.com.